we're going to watch a bit of the oh thank god it's only 57 minutes thank god hallelujah so we're going to watch the golden hour episode number 22 which features um brian cannon um i guess eric griffin was off maybe he was out there doing auditions or whatnot or whatever else and um chin filled in for him for a bit and also brian callum filled in for him so we're gonna watch a bit of that and see how that went on because i'm interested to see because remember when brian callum said him and chris Alia weren't friends remember that brian callum said they weren't friends um and shit let's actually get the video because i want to see brian callum um brendan short chris Alia. let's see if we can get it because <laughs> there's a period when he said they weren't friends and they never hung out. But when you see them on the podcast in the Golden Hour, they look very friendly. And it looks like they've been around each other for a while. So I just find this very interesting how you cannot be friends with somebody and also be friends with somebody. <laughs> we got we got to play this first. We have to play this first because I think this is fucking legend, legendary clip. Brennan, we have to uh, at least talk about this. Um, you guys, if you follow the news, if you're alive, uh, if you've been following this Twitter thing the way we have uh the poetic justice of this is fucking incredible no the poetic justice of this is fucking incredible brian callen spent so long talking about getting surgery talking trt um getting his lids done you know his career kind of was stagnating a bit not going where he kind of needed to go and then he decides to kind of prolong his career giving more options in terms of auditioning and whatnot hey i'm gonna go get my lids done Right, his agent, whoever's in his ear, convinced him that getting those fucking excess bits of eyelid flaps, you know, kind of tucked in and shit, would drastically change his age and make him look like a fucking twenty-five year old or some shit. Nonsense agent talk, but he bought it. He goes out and does it, gets it done, and the same week he got that done, and he's recovering. He has to wear these fucking glasses because he looks like he's been beaten up. One of his best friends gets <laughs> cancelled for you know, accusations of being a diddler and doing all sorts of mad nonsense and an effort to, of self-preservation. He throws his friend under the bus, completely, completely disowns him in a way, deletes all his pictures of him on his Instagram, because that's not people don't mention it also. The, Brian Callum went on his Instagram and deleted so many pictures and videos, which you can't find anymore now because no one archived them, but many clips and videos of him and Chris D'Elia together, he deleted all of them from his Instagram page. And at the time when he was confronted, he said, oh, because my daughter was seeing them or something, which is fucking nonsense. Bullshit, bullshit excuse. He just didn't want to get any blowback. So he deleted all the pictures and then he goes on his show and basically says, I never knew the guy. We weren't good friends. We barely hung out. <laughs> and then only a week later or a couple of weeks later, he then gets accused of rape. The poetic justice is just... Uh, you know what's going on with our friend Chris. I'm not, you know, that when these situations people in hollywood tell you what to say <laughs> and um I, 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 and i said to brennan what look we can brendan's do is look at look at brendan he's fucking shell shocked i can't believe that my friend who i always see with underage women has now been accused of doing some bad shit with these underage women <gasps> i'm so shocked <laughs> i also find it funny part of me finds it funny how for some reason this happened when it happened, right? BGL wasn't in the equation, I don't think. I don't think he was super latched onto the group just yet. I would have thought, if this was me, and I was a real scumbag, and my friend got accused of doing some crazy shit with girls, I would be scared it would be me next. So I'd fix up. i turn into a fucking nun. No, sorry. I'd turn into a monk. I'd completely cut off all communication with any thoughts, any baddies. Like, it's gone. There is no baddies talk anymore. I'd go completely sober, chuck out all the addies. I'm done. I'm over it. And I'd be like, I'd be like fucking husband guy all over social media, right? With the kids, with the wife, kid stuff, wife stuff, kid stuff, wife stuff. We got a dog, right? And I'd be, that's how I'd be. I'd be husband guy all the time. I find it even more hilarious that all this stuff happened and this wasn't an inflection point. This wasn't like a fork in the road of like, okay, cool. I'm going to give up my playing ways and just commit and be a family dude. No, they just doubled down and just kept doing it anyway. This didn't change anyone's behavior in the group. Chris Talia, after his apology, was still out there DMing fucking young, young girls. Brian Kellen, we don't know what happens there. Is he still out there raping? Who knows? Brendan Schaub didn't change. He was still texting and reaching out to baddies. It didn't change anyone's behavior. This stuff didn't change anyone's behavior. That's the really funny part about it. But at the time, they were fucking so sad. <laughs> and I said it before, watch. This is really sad to say this, but 
I don't want this to happen anytime soon. But can you imagine how these guys will react if flipping Joe Rogan ends up passing away sometime? If this is how they're crying about Chris Talia getting accused of diddling, can you imagine how distraught they'd be fucking crying on their podcast with bogeys coming down their faces? Compare that to someone in their own family passing away, a parent. You'll be completely different. They'll cry way more for Rogan than they will for their own parents. Like, you just watch. <laughs> just wait and see. Tell the truth. And I'm not going to sit here. I'm a man, and I define myself on how I respond to these situations in real time when the pressure's really on. And so this is what I'll say. Um, I always knew Chris is a ladies' man. I have never, and I'm going to say this, I have never seen or heard of him doing anything illegal. You know, that's funny. I'm a real man, so let me get in front of the camera and bury my friend while I protect myself. I don't agree with the flipping Irish Shafir type of stuff where he just he, he's basically in a roundabout way saying comedians can just do what they want. But surely, if that's your friend, no comment. Just do what Rogan did and just refuse to talk about it. If they're actually your friends, because if you start talking about it, people are going to start asking you questions. They'll be like, it's impossible that you're his friend and you didn't know. It's impossible. Everyone's been talking about Chris being a ladies man and bringing girls around the club. Everyone's made jokes about him bringing girls that look very young around the club. It's impossible he didn't see it at least once. So if you comment on it, you have to answer some questions. So the best way to do it, just don't comment. But I love how he said, I respond to this in real time as a man. And then the first thing he does is excuse himself. <laughs> Ever. Um, this is as shocking to me as I'm watching this happen. I don't know what to think and I don't know what to say. I don't. Um, but I have, I'm going to say it again. I have personally never heard or seen him do anything illegal. That's all I can say. And right now I have to believe that because he's still a friend. And, and, and it may be unpopular to say that, but I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. And I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be some, uh, I, I, I just think it's an impossible situation. Somewhat, and uh, somewhat, somewhat. I'm, Look at I'm just face. at a loss. I'm at a loss. And I'm praying, that's I'm my, praying that's that. The, uh, that's the best bit I love about this. Brendan's face anguish. The anguish on Brendan's face, like scratching his neck. Like this is the best bit. We have to get this in fucking 720p. Sorry. I love this video, man. It fucking makes me laugh so much. <laughs> Look at Brenda's face, the anguish. Look at Brenda's face, the anguish. Look, the anguish. This is fucking brilliant. This is fucking cinema. Look at this. Uh, I, I, I just think it's an impossible situation. And uh, I'm, I'm just at a loss. I'm at a loss. And I'm praying, I'm praying that um, <laughs> what I'm hearing isn't true. Maybe, maybe that's this the thing. This is their friend diddling. Not their friend murdering people or being a serial killer and shit. Their friend being a diddler. Their friend essentially taking advantage of underage girls. Like, this is how they're reacting. <laughs> That's where to put it. I can't I talk. talk. It's just... I you know, it's like... Talk. It's a weird thing because I said to, to Brennan, I said, it's like... um, Why would you... Honestly, think about this one second. Why would you be crying... If your friend got accused of this shit, it's equivalent to your friend getting accused of like me too shit. Why would it make you want to cry? Like legit, like think about yourself. Think about it. Like your friend gets accused of molesting people, of being handsy, of being abusive, of being too forward and being nasty and creepy with girls. Why would it make you want to cry? Like think about why would it make you cry? <laughs> it's got nothing to do like it'd make you feel like oh my god that's crazy i didn't see that side of him oh my god i can't believe he did that that's a scut like it, it, you'd be shocked more so shocked surprised if you generally didn't know like oh my god what trying to make sense of it but why would it make you cry <laughs> you know it's it's like watching someone die oh, exactly exactly um zan sorry um Gia, Gia, how, how you spell your name? I can't how, pronounce it. Jen, Jane, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Brendan. Because the good times are over. Exactly. And at the time, I don't think I realized that at the time. I didn't realize at the time that he's probably crying because he knows the good times are over. Because if you remember, this was around the time when the fire and the kid are doing that thing where they had like guests of the year in it. 
and like Theo Vaughn was winning and he had a belt and they had you know Will Sasso coming on the show Chris D'Elia Theo Vaughn those were the best ones those are super funny because those guys are just like machines right they're great on podcasts they're super hilarious and those view, those were getting mad amounts of views the ads were flying out all over the place right crazy great time merch selling so that's what he was actually crying about. At the time, I didn't realize it. I didn't make connections of it. But if you think about it, he's not crying because his friend got accused of being a fucking diddler and an abuser and a creep. He's crying because the good times are about to end forever. Like subconsciously, he probably knows, hey, this is going to change the dynamic of the group forever because it did. You know, Chris Lee hasn't been back on Rogan. Callan hasn't been back on Rogan by himself. Rogan moved to Austin. You know, Delia had a documentary come out about him. Callan had rape accusations. It kind of changed everything forever. Like, it kind of sullied, you know, Will Sasso doesn't really fuck with him anymore. So maybe that's what he kind of, you know, subconsciously was going through in real time. Oh my God, this fucking great thing I had going is gone. Theo Vaughn left. Brian Callan might leave with Vlada Ray Crowder. Or something. And also, it's I just... Uh, <laughs> you know, I, we I haven't, could... it's important to say we haven't spoken to Chris. No. And I'm we've shark. never been, we've never been on the... He cries at this, like this. He cried at that, at that fake video when they thanked him for his fucking um, Smash Santa special. But you didn't see him cry at this when he's flipping mum, grandma died. Like, it's just funny. The, the things this guy cries about is fucking hilarious, man. Road with him. I, you know, Never. I was on the road with him um, about 14 years ago once um, when he was, uh, you know, just beginning. But I've never... What? Brian Callan, you fucking spineless lily livered fucking pussy look at look at him worming his way out of this i didn't know chris and I'm we've shark. never been we've never been on the road with him i you know never. i was on the road with <laughs> i've never been on the road with chris <laughs> okay him um about 14 years ago once um when he was uh, you know just beginning but i've never been on the road with him so i don't know i don't know i don't know what to think and i don't know and that's what's so frustrating it's i'm just sad yeah i'm sad i don't I'm so sad. anyway if you want to make me sad, brother, you made me sad. <laughs> if you want to ruin my career, brother, you ruin my career. <sighs> yeah. Sometimes that's the best thing to say, is to say, I don't know what to say. And I'm just... Um... With the fake fucking um, specialized merch, right? I'm the final kid guys, big up for the subreddit for figuring that out. Brendan made, made it seem like this merch she made was a collaboration with Specialized and it's actually just a custom job that you can do online. Absolute cretin. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a fucked up thing. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> well, that's appropriate. That's appropriate right now. You can just, you can just pray that. Uh... I also can't forget because I have, because I have these, these fucking um, Travis Scott 270s, the Cactus Jack ones, right? So I can't think whenever I wear them I think about this video <laughs> whenever I read whenever I wear these shoes I think about this video it's legitimately my favorite thing to watch I swear to god that nothing's true because no matter what the facts are whatever comes out I'm as shocked as anyone I'm hurt I'm, I'm mad, mad. I'm, 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 I'm fucking, fucking mad, mad. man I'm, I'm, I'm fucking mad, man. <laughs> I've watched this so many times. <laughs> you don't understand. Hurt. I'm mad. I'm, 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 I'm fucking, fucking mad, mad, man. man. <laughs> I'm mad at him. With the microphone burst, slaps up away. Okay. <laughs> the microphone slap away was the best. Honestly, it's so dramatic. So over it, like fucking relax your friend got accused of diddling why the fuck are you crying like this this is so ridiculous i'm fucking mad man the microphone slap i'm mad at him <laughs> oscar winning performance look at this okay okay, okay. Uh, anyway <coughs> oh sorry honestly man i fucking love this clip it's one of my favorites